in the seventh place match in the NCAA championship a year ago. Yeah, and so those, like I got the key to victory. This is another marquee matchup, right? Two top six guys, um, Dagan being number four. And they wrestled in the um, seventh place match at NCAAs last year. Um, Dagan's keys to victory are no early easy scores, bring a high pace and create scrambles. Well, Dagan also beat Lugo in Iowa City in that match from 2018, and that was in overtime. Yes. Nothing yet. They're not giving it to him. Nice lift and return for Lugo right there. There's a takedown. If you haven't seen Dagan, he's very unconventional because of his body shape at this weight class. 6'2", 149 pounds. And it gives a lot of people problems, and it's not just on the feet. Sometimes, in fact, often individuals get in on Dagan, but they end up surrendering two points. Yes. So he's looking overhook on his right side, left side underhook. He does a really good job of working those underhooks and those overhooks. Lugo's doing a good job staying inside right now. Um, but yeah, Dagan's definitely unorthodox and his length creates a problem. Dagan a ranked uh, fourth nationally and Lugo fifth. Although there's several rankings yes. hard to keep track of now. Right. You're seeing two of the best. That's the bottom line yes. right here. Like I said, they, they wrestled in the NCAA seventh place match. They wrestled on Saturday last, last year. at the NCAA tournament. Um, Dagan looking for that, that overhook, underhook, opposite sides. And Dagan, the thing about him is his length, but not only his length, but his pace creates a problem for a lot of his opponents. He keeps wrestling out of positions. Um, he keeps, he never says never in a, in a position, right? And so anytime you see that, you, you, give, your, you give yourself a chance. Tied up here, the two gets men. To the, gets to the leg, Dagan reaches around, nothing. Goes wizard, or overhook wizard. Shot by Dagan. He's looking for a run around, Lugo is. When Lugo, they're close to out of bounds, nothing. Dagan wrestles out of it, gives the action call by the ref. So he's looking for a two on one on that left side of Lugo. Now he's going underhook on the right side of Lugo, passed by, by Dagan. Fake by Lugo, fake by Dagan. Lugo's doing a really good job of staying in position, trying to control the inside of the ties. Last year, Dagan 20 and nine, Lugo 23 and nine. Lugo defers, Lugo defers here. So Jared Dagan will begin in the down position. Right. And he gets up to his feet. And he's Escape. out. He reaches immediately for Lugo's head. Whatever happens today, you always have to keep in mind in wrestling, what really matters is March. Right. It's a long season, you know, like it's like it's a long, it's a, it's a grind of a season. And you can't get too high on what happens in November, December, and you can't. Um, allow what happens even even the first week in March at the big big 12s in the conference championships to dictate what can happen at the NCAAs. Dagan tried to get that foot in. Dagan working that underhook on Lugo's right side again looking for his shrug by fake by Lugo overhook Dagan on his right side controlling the wrist on the on his left side, Lugo's right. He's feeding, feeding hips. Again, overhook. Dagan giving a little hip. Shot by Lugo, he gets to his feet. Dagan wards it off. I think you're starting to maybe feel some of that impact. He's going front headlock. 
Dagan is. Um, Lugo's looking like he's trying to sneak out. He he worked out. Away. Nothing. But that was a good, good activity by both wrestlers right there on the edge of the mat. Lugo, another transfer to Iowa out of Edinburgh. Yeah. Passed by Dagan. Dagan got to right collar tie right now. And left collar tie. Snapping. Lugo's doing a good job of keeping his keeping his stance. Nice solid position. He gets to the leg. Short time left. Well, Lugo's been in on that leg. Some of that, however, is just playing Jared Dagan's mojo. Yeah. 14 seconds of riding time for Lugo right now. So no point. Dagan is good on top. Yes, he works extremely hard on top. That length creates a lot of problem. Keeps guys in s situations. Right now, Lugo's on the leg. Yeah, they're telling Dagan to stay heavy. All right, they want Dagan to keep those hips. But that length, right? Like Lugo's on the leg, it looks like he's in an advantage position. But these are situations we've seen Dagan before turn into his his own points, right? And that just got him 12 seconds of right yep, time. It did. So Lugo's going to want to, if he has an opportunity to really clear out and get away, he's going to want to do that. Claw action on the left side, um, right side of Lugo's body by Dagan, and he's going tight waist with his right hand. See what? But he's coming, he comes over, looks for Cradle, comes right back underneath, behind. He's on his ankle, he throws in a leg, looking like they're going to be in a scramble right here. Both guys are on a leg. Both guys are on a leg. Nothing. Looking like there's going to be a scramble. Look at He's that. On his back. Dagan has Lugo on his back. He's getting the count. He's getting tighter. He's going for the gusto. He's going for the gusto. And that length, 40 seconds left. He doesn't get it, but he gets four near fall. Locked hands. Locked hands. I tell you what, if you watch that in this slow see? motion, I think there were a couple times where he was virtually pinned. Yeah, I think the, the ref wanted to make sure if he was going to call it. Yeah, and there's, I'm, that happens yes, in wrestling. for sure. But wow, what a turn of events. So the ref's going to go to the monitor to look at the call to see if there is a locked hands. So he's going locked hands. One point Iowa. One minute and two seconds. So they have a minute and two seconds left and they're not giving the back points. That's incredible to me. I was looking, it was looking that Dagan's pace was starting to come into effect. Looking to ride right here by Dagan. It's long. Drops to the leg, swings it out. One minute riding time. Um, overhook. So it's 3-3. Three, three. Dagan has riding time a minute and one second. Back in on a shot. Dagan really has to know where he's at. So does Lugo. He's draped across the body. Look, he's going to look to hook that leg. The hook of the leg would be huge. He's pulling on that. 23 seconds left. He has the leg hooked. And he's behind both hands. He's looking to pull him over. Look, he's in danger position. There's a count. That, no. 
Nothing. Nothing. He doesn't give him the two takedown. Uh, he's looking to get up. Dagan's up. Nothing. Two. No, nothing. Time's out. Well. No takedown. No takedown. So Pat Lugo's going to escape here. Lugo escapes four to three in a crazy.